is gonna make me cry just because it's Prince. Oh, 1999. He is so sexy. I know, even in heels. This is really 80s. That's the stuff from the 80s. This is pre-Purple Rain Prince. I'm still a little bit in denial. She's reminded me that we went down recently, man. This one makes me sad. I mean, it's such a happy song, but it breaks my heart. I don't know how he does it. So sad. I wasn't ready. Oh, <sighs> memories. Is that him playing the guitar? He was like a multi-instrumentalist. When doves cry, we are the doves. We are crying. Oh my goodness. When he crawled in that tub, honey. Ooh. Oh, bro. Whoa, hold it now, bro. Don't, don't get up. He took a lot of chances, man. And, you know, he was the man, dude. He did it for a lot of women. <laughs> Seductive. It's like, who else would do that? Look at his outfit. He's the only man could do that. Get it, Prince. If Michael Jackson and David Bowie had a baby, it would be Prince. <laughs> wow. R.I.P. Prince. Oh. I never meant to call. Super Bowl. It was like pouring the rain, huh? I never meant to call. And then how perfect purple rain. Only wanna see you. See you laughing, yeah. You know, purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. Everybody. Purple rain, purple rain. Can I play this guitar? Yes, you can. Yes, you may play the guitar. Oh my god. This is what I live for, dude. I would have fought somebody to stand right there in the front. Such a spectacle. Are you kidding me? His own special stage, of course. Epic, epic performance right there. I'm gonna have my moment right now. Oh, so good. The rules did not matter with him at all. This is the year of the dead rock star. Like, oh, oh God, no, it's so sad. So what feelings do you get watching Prince and hearing his music with him recently passing away? Oh man, I get all kind of feelings because it's like a family member passed away. Man, gosh, I didn't think I would react like this. Realizing that he's gone sucks. I was so hurt. Text my kids, I'm like, Prince died. You know it's Purple Rain night. They're like the soundtrack to your life. So you feel it personally, even though you didn't know them personally. I'm saddened that Prince is past, and I'm kind of happy that his passing is gonna bring so much publicity to good music. Hearing his music now in retrospect after he passed away, it's like, that's what created this phenomenon of Prince. I wish I would have learned more about his songs so I could express how much he meant to music. Would you consider yourself a fan of Prince? Uh, of his music, not really. I didn't grow up listening to a lot of his music. I'm breathing, so yes. The legacy and the, the impact they had. He was my very first poster on my teenage wall. I look up to a dude that plays guitar like, like him. You know, I'm like, damn, man, I wish I could play guitar like that. Really, really dug Prince. When Musicology came out, I remember driving to the music store on my lunch break to go get it and then popping it in the CD player and just like windows down like, <sighs> because the dude was just funky. Prince was a huge icon and was embraced by people for being so different than many popular artists at the time. Why do you think he was so successful for so long? Well, 
First of all, the talent just speaks for itself. He definitely had something really unique and embraced kind of this like androgynous femininity while still being like kind of sexual. When the music is brilliant and genius and all of that good stuff. He was able to bring all different types of people together. He was just like a freak of nature who just like could somehow do all these incredible things. Every once in a while there comes a person, creativity just exudes from them. Prince, if he were to try and stop it, he would probably explode. The talent of Prince that is lost. I just don't think there's anything equal out there right now. Right now. So Prince was well known for having very raunchy lyrics, and his music was even a major catalyst for record companies adopting that parental advisory label for albums in the 80s. Oh, really? Why do you think his music was such a big deal back then? Because back then it was like, again, nobody talked about it. Prince is just like, yeah, Nicki, masturbating with a magazine. The songs now can't even compare to that. But back then it was like, oh, did he say masturbate? When some of the songs came out, I really had no business listening to them. I would sneak downstairs and turn on the TV on low and be, you know, watch it like this. That pushed more kids towards the music. You can't listen to this? Well, I'm gonna listen to it. Now, in talking about him as a person, he was seen as very private and was infamous for being one of the hardest people to get an interview with, even though he often would put on unannounced shows for free or would play big concerts at his own recording studio for his fans. Right, right, he did special things but he didn't want to necessarily get all of this credit. In today's age of ultra accessibility with social media and celebrities constantly putting themselves out there, what do you think about Prince's unwillingness to do so and yet still being so famous? Okay, I hate, I hate when artists do that. You're famous, you have a responsibility. I think that's still what made him Prince. It was about the music. He didn't have to put himself out there. When you have a little bit of talent, you have to keep going, oh my god, look at me, are you still seeing me? Do you still see me? You give so much that you need some kind of privacy, something that's my own. I'm thinking about Sia right now, you know how she tries to hide away, yet we wanna, we want more of her. So at one point in Prince's career, because of a disagreement with his record label when they wouldn't release his music as fast as he wanted to, he decided to change his stage name to an unpronounceable symbol. The artist formerly known as Prince. For that period, he was widely referred to as the artist formerly known as Prince. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know that. What do you think about the fact that he did that? Right, unprecedented move. That was what he could do to take back some of his power. Some people can see him as cocky, but he just has so much self-respect for himself and he knows he deserves more. He was really smart for doing that because he's not gonna like compromise for anyone else's needs. So as we wrap up this tribute to Prince, for those who were not alive in the 80s, can you talk about how big a deal Prince was? Man, dude. Man. Prince was his own genre of music. Prince just gave that edge. I know I'm not supposed to say it is, but I don't give a f I'm gonna say it anyway type of thing. We should know more about true talented artists out there to encourage other kids to actually pursue their career and take it seriously. Prince is the only person who could wear platform heels and be like, that dude's manly. <laughs> he just changed everything, the way we thought about music, the way we thought about talent. A unique artist that didn't care about the rules and didn't care what people thought, but he's gonna put out good music that connected with the people. The dude is, was un- Real. Thanks for watching this episode of Adult React. Let us know in the comments what we should react to next. Goodbye, and we'll be back soon, partying like it's 1999.